Hey everyone, I want to show you these uh, aerial precision ambidextrous safeties that I got in. I got four of them. I got three there and I got one here that I'm working on. So one of the things that I'm really liking about this one is, first of all, it's a two-piece design. So on this side, the safety is solid, okay, uh, which is fine because a lot, because a lot of times you get a three-piece design which has a screw that comes in from this side and then the screw that also holds this piece in over here. But what happens is if you lose the screw on both sides, well, now you have a gun that doesn't work, basically. Okay, you see, you know, your gun's going to either be, like, locked in the safe position or it's going to be locked, you know, in, in the fire position, okay? Uh, so you want it to be a two-piece design that's fixed on one side without a screw so that that can't possibly come off. So if you look over here, it has... Uh, basically, it bites into that nice and deep, right? So that's what rotates this, which is now this is a standard design. Okay, so that's not anything. But what this does have is, if you look at the screw here, that's a thick screw. Okay, because on other ambidextrous safeties that I have seen, right, the screw that attaches this side to this side, right, that screw is usually a tiny little screw, and the threads are really thin. I like that this is a thick screw, um, and also, like, when I lock tight it, I mean, it, it, there's just more meat there to grab. It's a longer screw with bigger threads. Uh, that has a better chance of, of staying in, in place and not falling out, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, I'm going to do a video later on where I'm, sh where I'm actually working this and shooting it after I put it together. Uh, but And this was cheap. I think it was, like, $25 from Optics Planet. And then I got like an additional discount, so it was probably like less than that, you know. With the, well, I think the the additional discount covered like the, the sales tax on it, so it was they were about twenty five dollars each. So I got them. Now to install it, uh, basically you're gonna. It's it's pretty easy. You're just gonna basically take a. Uh, where are you? It's on this side over here. You're gonna take an an Allen key. You're gonna go up through the bottom. You're gonna find a screw. You're gonna loosen it up. You don't have to remove the grip completely. You just have to loosen it up just a little bit, right? Right, just like I did there, right? And then just um, lock the hammer back, right? It's just going to lock back. And then just rotate it. If you rotate the safety, uh, once you loosen up your grip and you, and you, and you rotate your, uh, your safety, you should be able to just to push it out because there's not going to be enough pressure coming up from that spring over there pushing on the detent. And you'll just be able to rotate it and just push it out from this side over here. So, so it's, it's a really easy install. Um, now this is going to be on a uh, this rifle here is going to have a like a, a a distance shooting scope on it. So I'm going to probably keep it uh, the same length on both sides, okay? Um, because a lot of times if I'm in the prone position or if I'm like benched to something, it can be difficult to to reach the other side with my thumb when I'm shooting right-handed. So it's just a lot easier with my index finger to grab this side. Now on rifles that have like a red dot that I do like more. Um, you know, CQB type of stuff. I, I also like the ambidextrous safety, but what I will usually do uh, is I will um, basically dremel down half of it. So I will shorten this up. Now, they do make um, ambidextrous safeties that are like long on one side and short on the other side. And they're usually a lot more expensive, right? So if I got this for $25. I'm not going to pay like $75, sometimes $100 for these things, okay? So this from every, you know, this is going to work just fine, all right? Now, like right off the bat, I got four of these. Um, so if I decide that that it's uh, that I need it shorter on the on my trigger finger side, I'm, I'm just going to take a Dremel and just and just uh, actually I use the I actually use an, an angle grinder because the meat's pretty thick, and I just I just I just grind it down and I use the Dremel to fine tune it. And it's kind of cool how they have lines there. So basically, you just Dremel it down until you get to that last level right there, and you leave it. So you dremel half of it, right? You don't want to dremel the whole thing. You're just going to dremel half of it until you get to that first level there, right? So you're going to leave half of this meat on there, dremel down to that to that level right there. I'll show, I'll show you how I did it on a different one. Um, and then just leave it. And then you can just take like Sharpie and paint it black if you need it black, you know, if that's something that you care about. Um, all right, so this works good, $25, um, you know, easy fix, okay? Hey everyone, I want to show you that Ambi um, safety lever, and I wasn't going to initially grind this down, but I, you know, I was like kind of working with this 
and it just it started annoying me because it started hitting my trigger finger there so i'm like no nope, that's gotta go so basically let me make sure i get behind the camera so let me get behind the camera so i make sure you guys can see it All right so there you go you see how it so you can buy one that's factory done like that and pay something like a hundred plus dollars for it. They do sell them. In fact, that's where I got the idea. Okay, but the other thing you can do is you can get a $25 one and Dremel it. Uh, or I actually use the grinder. I mean, that's That material is quite thick. Um, the trick, the thing with the grinder is, I mean, obviously you got to put them to a vice. I mean, definitely don't try to Dremel or grind it while it's on the gun because you're going to hit the receiver. But uh, you got to... I mean, obviously, use, use a small vice. Don't use, like, this big, you know, uh, monster vice. Use a small vice, and you kind of have to angle it so that it holds it in place uh, because you don't want to crush it, you know, because there's that uh, that indent that fits into the... Uh, there's an indent that fits from one piece into the other, uh, and you want to be careful not to damage that. So that was that was the tricky thing, getting the, the, the vice to hold it in place so I could uh, dremel it down, okay? Um... So the first, so you might not obviously the colors a little bit off, right? But that's an easy fix. Take my little sharpie, and and the first one that I did, uh, I don't know about a month or so ago, it hasn't lost its color. Uh, the sharpie is actually staying on it. Uh, you don't want like a mirror finish on this because if if it's a little bit rough, it'll it'll hold the coloring a little bit better. I also used some uh, gray, a gray sharpie to just mark it, so I didn't go beyond the area that you know I didn't, I didn't dremel past the area. So I'm also using the black sharpie to cancel out the gray sharpie that I used earlier. Maybe that does it. And uh, I'm just gonna basically use a hairdryer on this now to just dry it up. And there you go. Save myself like a hundred plus dollars. Okay, now um, take a look at the screw over here. That that's a nice big screw that sticks out. Um, compared to now, this one is Ambi also, but it's got the smaller recessed screw. Right, you can see how it sits in. It's a much tinier screw. And it's a, it's a screw on both sides. You don't want that because, like the first time I did this, um, I mean the screws did come. Even though I Loctite it, the, the, the screws did come loose. Um, so what you want to do with the Loctite is you want to put some Loctite on it on the screw, blow dry it with a, you know with a hair dryer, heat it up a little bit so that it'll dry, then put Loctite on it again and put it in. Okay, that's how I get this in. And, and uh, since I did that, these screws have not come loose. Now. This, this one here is from CMG. If you notice that it's long, this one's from the factory, long on one side, short on the other. So I noticed that this works pretty good. The, now, normally if you get an Ambi that's long on one side and short on the other, it's always set up for a righty, okay? So if you're a lefty, it's like, it kind of sucks because you're always gonna have a shorty, like if you're a lefty, right? On the side that you want to have your thumb, you're always going to be short, and you're always going to be long on the other side, all right? But if you get this style that's just long on both sides and just a two-piece, you know, I grind it down this side. But hey, if I was, if I was like, like, I also shoot lefty, but if I always shot lefty, I would just grind down the other side, right? You can grind down this side, take out this entire piece, grind it down, and then leave this side, the side that attaches, long. Okay, and then as a lefty, you'll be your thumb side will be long, and your index finger side will be short. So that's something that you can do as a lefty. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to at some point down the road, I'll have to do a, uh, a, a, a just I have to redo this video or, or, or redo this video on Ambies, and but just like kind of put it in the headline so that the lefties will see it. I don't know if the lefties are gonna find this video, but yeah, uh, this is great. These aerial precision. 
and be equal length on both sides that uh, you can custom make it lefty righty uh, to whatever length you want only $25 guys uh so i hope you guys enjoyed the video drop some comments below talk to you all soon